the tribute to an endangered species of sorts. George Payette is believed to be the last of his kind in Canada. The Manitoba man repairs grain elevators using his unique skills to preserve their place in prairie history. Details from CTV's Manitoba Bureau Chief, Jill Mackishon. When you think of the Canadian prairies, you will likely think of this, the grain elevator. Once a sign of a town's prosperity, today a symbol of what once was. Over the decades, hundreds have been demolished. But George Payette and his team of two are keeping many of the oldest grain elevators operational. Trained when the structures were still a staple, the 55-year-old Payette is now considered Canada's last grain elevator repairman. It's always busy. It's always busy. And we never know from one day to the next where we're going to be. Some elevators more than a century old. The mechanics inside often unchanged. It's usually the wooden foundations that are the problem. I just like the, the challenge of fixing them. It, every day is a different challenge, one way or another. This building believed built in the 1920s. The elevator once a farming hub for the region until it closed and Murray McKinney's family bought it. Sure, we could replace it with one grain bin. It's, uh, you know, we like to keep the old building going and it still works fine. In the 1960s, there were more than 700 operational grain elevators in Manitoba. Now only 85 are still working. These concrete monsters are the grain elevators of today. Larger farms require larger facilities, but it's the old elevators that are still the most photographed. They're disappearing rapidly. I mean, within the last couple of months, we've lost five in Manitoba alone. Someday, these prairie landmarks will only be a piece of history. But for now, many have been preserved, due in part to the work done by Payette. It's nice to see the buildings out there because, you know, it's a landmark. It's nice to see them stay. Payette is hoping to retire in the next five years or so, but the prairie's last grain elevator repairman will leave this structure and more than 100 others as his legacy for decades to come. Jill Makishan, CTV News, near Waskeda, Manitoba.